In this video I'm going to show you how you can create single matte and multi matte materials. Matte materials store various properties, for example the texture, the recolouring values, the transparency, the shininess of the material. We also have multi matte materials and these have a combination of three matte materials. When applied to a piece they apply a top material, side material as well as a bottom material. So if we just have a quick look in the materials library we can see we have these matte materials here. So these are the leathers and the skin, so you can see we have more matte materials here. Then if I go to uh, Leather 3D, we have the multi matte materials. So you can see these are represented by a cube, and we have the top material, side material, and underneath stored with these. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create a single matte material. So I'm just going to create a quick surface, I'm going to accept those changes. I'm then going to go to my materials, I'm going to go to manage libraries and I'm just going to select and choose a texture. So I've got a texture just saved into a folder, I'm going to select OK and if I go to that texture we can see it's just a simple JPEG. Okay, So I've applied that to my surface, I'm then going to go to the materials editor. So I'm going to play with the shininess, I'm also going to play with the hue. I've also got the ability to change things like the um, transparency, the saturation, as well as the size of the grain uh, and the positioning of the grain. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go to the export icon, I'm going to select that surface, and I'm going to go to the export material. I've saved this into a folder called Matt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my materials library, I'm going to go Manage Materials, I'm going to go Add, and then I'm going to select that file. Once I've selected that folder, you can see it appears, and you can see I have my matte material. So I'm just going to select that surface, I no longer need it, so I've just deleted it. I'm going to create some design lines, and then from these design lines, I'm just going to create a very quick panel. Okay, so once my panel or piece has been created, I can select it, and I can now use my single matte material and just apply it to that material. Okay, so I'm going to use the same piece to create my multi matte material. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to leather. I'm going to just choose uh, a few different materials, apply them to the uh, the upper, the underneath, and also the edge. So if I just turn off the view of the last and rotate round, we can then see the underneath material has been applied. And then if I do the edge material, I'm just going to go for a flat colour, we can see that's also been applied. Okay, so again I'm going to go to the export options, I'm going to make sure this piece is selected, I'm going to go to export, and I'm going to say multi mat and save. Once again when I go to that matte file you can see I now have my multi matte material added and you can see again it's represented by that cube. Okay so I'm just going to open up a new last. I'm going to again draw my design lines and I'm going to very very quickly create a panel. So once that piece is created, I'm going to reselect that piece. If I just rotate around, you can see it's just got the default colours at the moment. So once it is selected and I go to my cube, my multi matte material, uh, as you can see at the moment I've got that little triangle um, selected on the upper material. So when I drag and drop this triangle into the modelling window, you can see that it just changes that single top material. Okay, so I'm just going to undo that, and what I'm going to do this time is I am just going to select in that little box again, and you can see that the red triangle has now turned off, and now you can see that all three of the materials have changed. 